And you guys need to understand that this doesn't mean that I don't love these animals. I'm going to bother taking them, taking them out to weigh them. Episode is going to be in two parts. So, 14 grams. Well, she is more than a girl. Because if I don't have the right papers, I'm not allowed to sell the animals. We're going to end up in real good homes and I'm going to make sure of it. It's sunrise. Hello all you wonderful people and welcome back to the channel. I really hope your day is amazing and I really hope all of you are doing great. So guys, today I'm actually a little bit excited because in a few days there's a reptile expo. And I'm going to go there as a vendor and my brother is going to be there to help me out as well. Check him out, Tommy Serpents, link in the description. So anyway, this means that I have a few preparations to do, so I'm going to show you guys uh, the preparations and which animals are bringing that to sell. It's going to be crested geckos and also ball pythons. So, and yeah, one other thing. This video, this episode is going to be in two parts. So I'm going to show the preparations first in the first uh, part and the second part is going to be the expo and yeah, after the expo. But anyway guys, stick around and I really hope you'll enjoy this. Yeah, here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. So, the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to weigh the crested geckos to make sure that they weigh over 5 grams. Because you should never sell a crested gecko if they're under 5 grams. So, we're going to start with that and then I'm going to tell you guys something. So, that's kind of big news. But, uh, yeah, let's move on and start with this. So, to weigh them, I'm going to use this scale, this kitchen scale, and I'm going to put them up on the glass and as you can see it's zeroed out so we're gonna start with yeah the first one and then we'll see how much it weighs so first up is this one let's see what the scale says well as you can see it's well over five grand so yeah this one is good to go you can see it's beautiful now it's fired down but yeah this is a real beautiful person gecko and next up is this little cutie. And yeah, 8 grams, so also good to go. Come here, buddy. So cute. It's so sad though that they lose their tail so easy. But well, crested geckos, they're known to drop the tails. You can see how cute this is. So cute. Well, time for the next one. And next up is this beautiful Dalmatian female. See the spots? That's why they call this morph Dalmatian. But let's see her weight. 14 grams. Well, she is more than big enough. And yeah, sorry about the seagulls in the background. And the last one from that enclosure is this little cutie so let's see yeah six grams actually big enough so i'm going to bring this as well to sell and next is this one see how dark and beautiful this is and yeah let's see the weight five grams exactly this means that there's no problem to sell it so that's nice this is really beautiful, you can see. It's really gorgeous. I love the dark colors. And there's one other in the same enclosure, so we're gonna see the weight on that one. Well, this is the one, and actually, I don't know what happened, but the camera died, so... But it only weighed 3 grams and uh, the babies that are in the other enclosures are much younger than this one. So I know that they're not ready to sell. So I'm not even going to bother taking them, taking them out to weigh them. But anyways, that was all the Crescent Gecko babies. So guys, time for the news. The somewhat big news. And that is that I'm going to stop breeding Crescent Geckos. And this means that I'm going to bring the female 
and the mail to the expo as well to sell. And yeah, this is a little bit sad, but when you breed reptiles like I do, you want to move on to other projects. And I don't want to breed crested geckos anymore, and I need this enclosure for the future project. And uh, well, it's going to involve this enclosure and this big enclosure. So yeah, it's a bit sad. And I love this too. I love especially Stitch. He's uh, he's so cool. But I need the space that they occupy at the moment and I don't yeah this is the best solution for me so I'm going to stop breeding crusty geckos and I really hope that both of these are going to end up in really good homes and I'm going to make sure of it because I love these two and yeah they are amazing animals but as I said I want to move on to other projects I want to move on to more you know unique animals and of course, this girl is one of the snakes, the ball python I'm bringing, because she is for sale, which you guys know. And of course, this girl as well. But, I'm actually bringing a couple other ball pythons that I'm going to show you guys now. And one of them is Sunrise. So I'm going to sell her as well. Because, as I said, I need room for other projects. Yeah, it's a bit sad because she is an amazing snake. But I'm pretty sure that she is going to a good home. So, yeah. But Sunset, he is staying. There's one more snake to show you guys. Last snake that I'm bringing is actually Floki. And yeah, for the same reason, I need room for other projects. And he's also an amazing snake. But yeah, I need room, sadly. And I really am going to make sure that he is well going to great home. And you guys need to understand that this doesn't mean that I don't love these animals, because I really do. But when you're a breeder, you have to make room for other projects sometimes. Sometimes this means you have to sell the animals you already have. And to be honest, I actually hate to sell any animal. I know that sounds weird because I'm a breeder, but I'm doing this for the hobby. And yeah, because I love animals and I want to, you know, I want to give other people the chance to experience these amazing animals. But that doesn't mean that I don't actually want to sell a single one. But I can't keep everyone. That's the harsh reality when you're doing this. But I'm going to make sure, as I said, that they are all going to great homes. So, if anyone of you that's watching are thinking about start to breed, well, snakes, lizards, reptiles in general, this is, well, this is what you have to do sometimes. But, as I said, I'm going to make sure that they go to great homes, and I really, I really do love these animals. So, I don't... <laughs> I hope you guys don't think less of me for sharing this. But this is one of the realities when you're doing this. So, as you guys probably understand, there is a downside to doing this. But, this is the reality, and I wanted to share this with you guys. But enough of this sad stuff, now I'm going to show you guys what I need for the expo. So, for the juvenile ball python and the adult crested geckos, I'm going to use these boxes. With covered sides, because here in Sweden, we are not allowed to use... Well, the only box we're allowed to use is with the see through the top. The sides needs to be covered. And yeah, it needs to be of a pretty good size. So this is for the ball python juveniles and the adult crested geckos. And for the baby crested geckos, I'm going to use these. They're a little bit smaller, but yeah, 
And for the adult ball python that I'm bringing, I'm going to use a bigger box. But I need to buy that box first. And for the Cytis B animals, like ball pythons, I need to have the right papers. Because if I don't have the right papers, I'm not allowed to sell the animals. So it's a certificate of origin. And there's, this one is basically the same, but, but different. So this is what I have to bring, especially for the ball pythons, but for the crested geckos, which are not Cytis listed at all, I only need one paper. And in the bins, it needs to be some type of substrate. I use peat, which is what I use in the enclosures. And there also needs to be some kind of foliage in the bin. But yeah, in here there's going to be either a juvenile ball python or an adult crusty gecko. And for the baby crusty geckos, it's good to go. So yeah. So guys, that's it for part one of this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really do appreciate all of you watching. It means a lot to me. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And while you're at my channel, go and check out my brother's channel as well, Tommy Serpents, link in the description down below. And in part two, guys, we're going to be at the expo, and uh, we're also going to pack the animals, so I'm going to show you that. So, real exciting, I want to show you guys how a Swedish expo looks like, so real excited showing you guys that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave with this, take care, be kind to someone, at least always try to show all people respect, and if you're able to, follow your dreams. So, till next time, goodbye guys, and I love you.